ass stocky, leave him floppy, face naughty, talking all aki, think he big poppy, then I'll chop him down like a rati. I see none of you here can stop me, it's obvious, you're too sloppy, cheap copy, I'm rocky, leave his eyes all glossy, but in the end zone is where you can spot when I touch down. Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 50 between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. This is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. chewed up all that yardage in a big way and that to me that was a combination of offensive line stacked defense and they handled it okay they got the leverage they got the blocking angles and opened up a nice crease and once you get past that first wave there's room to roam and that's just the third play from scrimmage they wanted to avoid that three and out they did the panthers had eight and three now now they were losers last time out trying to turn things around here in this one and it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. From just shy of midfield, Corral. That's complete to John Ross. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 28. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On first 
first down. This is McCaffrey. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Corral. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. And Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. Gonzalez's kick is good. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Take it in at the three. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 18. Now a Carolina native, former Tar Heel, it's Javante Williams. Tyler Shelvin there on the stop. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Wilson. That's complete. It's Okuwebunam. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before he can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Forced out to his left. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be out of bounds. So this will go only as that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now are these quarterbacks who can move. Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. What? 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Play action. Now Wilson. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. And the Panthers are going to have it here just past the 25. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Nick Benito. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Let's take it in at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right, you get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now... A little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Throwing again on second down. Corral. Open man downfield. It's Ross. He's got him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 39 yards there. A big one. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run... Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. On third down, Corral. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Well, I could spin this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him and with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers.
The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. It looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. On second down, Williams. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Play action. It's Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's a give up the middle. It's good. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. The second down play count was not to pick up the first down. Just accomplish what they did and get into a manageable third down because the only completion on first down is a little behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground in the day. Right side, it's Hamler pulling it in. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be fourth down. On fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good. And looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in the cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. This is taken at about the 14. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action now. Wilson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. This will be caught. Judy. 
And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. There's Wilson. And this is taken in by Hamler for a Bronco touchdown. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Broncos would extend their lead here just before halftime. McManus's point after is good, and the lead is up to eight. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they work this well up. the 45. That's caught left side by Judy. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll come up now on second and a yard. This quick pass complete to Sutton. And some space here. 
And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Williams again. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. And this is taken in by Hamler for a Bronco touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Broncos take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Throwing on second and long. Corral. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Corral. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. In on the tackle there, Brandon Smith. 
No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And going for Hamlin, but this is intercepted. I tell you, you know how press conferences when you sign guys like this. But he's been a real difference maker so far. There's now two interceptions for him in the game. And when you're getting contributions up and down your 53-man roster, you're going to be all right. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Justin Simmons up from his safety spot to make the tackle. I think they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Corral looking to throw. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Gonzalez's kick is good. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. run good for two here's second and eight they'll keep it on the ground this time it's Gordon four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game right now and intercepted maybe the turning point they need Brandon Smith puts it off two score game here in the fourth and that pick it kind of keeps the door ajar doesn't it it does and you wonder about their strategy because with a two score lead you think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock it's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing him. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Randy Gregory. Make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. And Corral will throw it. And Thomas has it. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Okay, ready? 
This offense so far on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and forever. Third and long, Corral. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And they'll work this down inside the 30. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that lead is back down to nine now. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, you need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation, they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense, get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. On the move to his left. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. with Wilson. Flush. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, slowing down to two remaining as we step aside here on the fourth quarter. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Looking to throw. Wilson. He'll let this go deep for set, and that's caught inside the 35. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run it up the middle now, Gordon. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up. That'd be the time to do it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Shaq taps it, making his presence felt on the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. 
Wilson. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. He took Bruce Myers. Team may be in order. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Caden Stearns. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead, and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now we just got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40 yard line. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Corral. He gets it to Thomas. And he is going to have a Broncos first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Oh, Wilson going to throw. 
And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Broncos up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Wilson going to throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Denver, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. And, and they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, it's a tough one to swallow as they drop back to 8-4 and four on the year. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time.